हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ मटेरियल्स टेक्नोलॉजी चैप्टर वन फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मेटलर्जी टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द इवेल्युएशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज द इम्पॉर्टेंट मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर प्रोपोर्शनल स्ट्रेस इलास्टिक लिमिट एंड इलास्टिक स्ट्रेस अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस ब्रेकिंग स्ट्रेस यील स्ट्रेस प्रूफ स्ट्रेस रेजिलियंस मॉड्यूलस ऑफ रेजिलियंस टफनेस मॉड्यूलस ऑफ टफनेस डक्टिलिटी एंड मेलेबिलिटी लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द प्रपोर्शनल स्ट्रेस इट इज द हाइस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ स्ट्रेस up to which stress is proportional to strain above this stress proportionality between stress and strain ceases and the stress strain curve diverges from linearity the proportional stress can be found out by extending the linear part of the curve and noting the stress value at the divergent point elastic limit and elastic stress it is the highest value of stress up to which deformations are elastic or temporary elastic stress is slightly higher than the proportional stress for accurate determination of this value the specimen should be loaded slightly above the proportional stress and unloaded This procedure is repeated several times with slightly increasing load at every time till the sample does not show permanent deformation. Ultimate tensile stress It is the highest value of stress that the material can bear or sustain without failure. Breaking stress It is the stress value at the point of fracture. It is evaluated by referring stress strain diagram. Yield stress. It is the stress at which the material yields that is shows plastic deformation at constant stress without any strain hardening. This stress exists in some materials like low carbon steels and mild steels there is a sharp break in the curve when the material passes from the elastic to the plastic region the stress corresponding to point 1 is called as upper yield stress and that corresponding to the point 2 is called as lower yield stress proof stress proof stress is shown for those materials which do not show yield point and is equivalent to yield stress or elastic limit stress in general the proof stress is 0.2% of permanent deformation for determining proof stress for 0.2% of permanent deformation a point is marked such as a on the strain axis corresponding to 0.002 from point a a straight line is drawn parallel to the initial linear part of the stress strain curve if this line intersects the curve at point b then stress corresponding to the point b is denoted as proof stress resilience the ability of a material to absorb energy during its elastic deformation is called as resilience it is the area within the elastic limit in the load extension diagram modulus of resilience 
Modulus of resilience is the energy absorbed by the material in the elastic region per unit volume. It is the area up to elastic stress in a stress strain curve. Toughness It is the total energy absorbed by the material prior to its fracture. This energy is the sum of elastic energy and plastic energy. It is the total area under the load extension curve. Modulus of toughness It is the energy absorbed by the material prior to its fracture per unit volume. It is the total area under the stress strain curve. Ductility It is the ability of the material to be drawn into thin wires. Ductile material shows more plastic deformation prior to fracture under tensile loading. Ductile materials are soft. It is expressed by percentage elongation. Percentage elongation is the difference between the final length and the original length divided by the original length into 100. Malleability It is the ability of a material to be rolled into thin sheets. Malleable materials shows more plastic deformation prior to fracture under compressive loading conditions. That is it for today's lecture. In the next lecture we shall discuss the hardness tests. Thank you.